I draw on the zoo girls? Shirtless. I told them to do the earth line sign shirtless. I'm sitting down here doing my shit. I'm like, do the earth signs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In Western, I got a Taurus Venus. In Vedic, I'm a Taurus Sun. I'm also a Capricorn Moon in Western. Definitely got the Earth energy going. That sexiness. There's a sexiness about us Earth signs. Definitely a sexiness about us Earth signs. Oh. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What message we got today, Spirit? Other than someone wants you shirtless, baby. <laughs> oh, Spirit. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What do you have for my collective, Spirit? Y'all, I'm already tapped into Taurus, let me tell you. Oh, spirit. Mmm. Mmm. Damn. Oh, shit, y'all. I guess it gets a little, it doesn't get too much better. Yeah, you're dealing with some deceit, man. You got some dominant person around you that will not let you begin a new cycle. Whew. They are bound and determined to keep you stuck. Yes, they are. Quite possibly a lover. <sighs> Could be family, you know. Family, friends. Someone's keeping you from moving on. And they're preventing you from healing from a shitty relationship, okay? I'm not taking the dominant person. It's someone that you're close to that has, that has some control over you, okay? They don't want you building with anybody else. They don't want you doing anything. They're keeping you stuck. Okay? They're keeping you stuck. Refusing to let them wands heal. But I think you're doing this in secret, okay? You're secretly detaching. However you're going to do this, right? You're keeping it on the down low. But you're going to plan your escape from something. Something, someone, you're planning your escape. Because you know, right now, uh, there's just nothing going in your favor, right? Everything you try turns to shit with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You you see no you see no hope, no future, no nothing, right? That wheel's got a boot on it. You ain't going nowhere. And you want to, though. You're wanting to, to charge into a, a situation, person, place, thing, take it however it is, and start something new. But you know you're going to have to release from a relationship that isn't very healthy. And uh, it's like you're waiting for the, the conflict to end. Maybe you're waiting for the right moment you can, you know, sneak out. I ain't got no sneaking cards yet, but it's like you're, 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 you're waiting to get out. You're tired of the conflict. You're tired of it. You're tired of it. Yeah, we definitely got some karma up in here. Secrets and lies coming out. Someone ain't showing their emotions. Yeah. Someone wants to come in with the truth because they're not feeling the best. <sighs> and then you go from the uh, Knight of Wands to the King of Wands here. You're definitely releasing from some... some I'm, I'm going to say someone, guys. I'm just going to say someone. That's just keeping you back. You're going to release from them, okay? Let's throw some cards down on this spirit. You might have to get your keys and, and hightail it out. Yeah, you've gone quiet because you're thinking about it. You're, you're planning your approach. So that way, when you run, you're going, to have your, you're going to have your defenses set up, right? You're going to be ready to take on all the haters that's coming at you. So you're going to do something pretty fucking big. But you know it's not going to be met... Uh, <laughs> It's not, it's not going to be met too well. <laughs> because you, you were hiding some emotions. You didn't come forward and make an offer that you wanted to in love. <sighs> yeah, I like to see that card up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, 
Hold on a second. Same that up there. Mm. Mm. What are you defending? What are you defending? Definitely healing a broken heart. Ooh, five and five. Definitely expect the unexpected. Got two fives up here and two sevens up here. Mm. Ooh, y'all got a fucking story. You gotta get ready to leave. <laughs> You're leaving a person behind. I'm sorry, guys. You know, you got into hermit mode because you're a little, you're a little guarded. And any movement's been halted. And the chariot here is spirit. Okay, if you don't think, because I got the six of cups up here in reverse. So that tells me this is a close connection with somebody, okay? But any movement's been halted. Because right now, you're quiet, you're guarded. You're guarded like a motherfucker. You best believe it, but spirit is keeping you stuck. I'm really thinking you got a lesson to learn, right? Whatever you're trying to get away from, spirit says, mm-mm. You're not coming out of this unscathed. You got you got to learn a fucking lesson here so this shit don't happen again, right? Because you're going to be defending getting single. And um, I'm getting two things. Uh, getting single and sneaking away from a, a, a relationship you're tired of waiting on growing, okay? You're going to be defending that. But then you're also going to be defending why you did it, Okay? You stayed put with one that you knew was shit, though it wasn't going nowhere. I think you want to go towards one, but you're going to be defending that, okay? You want to release it, but you're still going to be defending that. You're going to have to explain to somebody and hope like hell uh, they can understand it. Oh, you're going to tell me you left me on hold, but you were unhappy the whole fucking time? That kind of energy... I mean, we know Taurus is stubborn as all hell. Hey, it's in my charts. I understand that. But you're going to be explaining that to someone, and they might not necessarily understand it, right? And you know this. You know this. Because you stay trapped in an emotionally draining situation instead of putting an offer of love in, which would have been your wish fulfillment. This is your past energy. And you're seeing the error of your ways here. You're being guided towards a new start. And you know this. And your intuition is lit. You got the high priestess up here. You're, you're doing some work. You're doing, you're figuring out what the hell you're going to do and how you're going to do it. You're getting that pull. You're getting that draw, Taurus. And you're going to drop the burdens because there's a loss. You've already lost out. And I think you've lost out on a relationship. That you really truly knew you could be happy in. Because you just didn't want to let shit go. This is the everything is fine card in this deck. It's the ten of swords. It's where you're acting like everything's okay when it, it it's not. And you still on that fucking phone looking and creeping and sneaking and all that other shit. But it's basically because you didn't put forth any effort in this in this relationship that you knew could have been fucking beautiful. Right? Future cards. You know, you're going to take some time and heal yourself. You're going to heal yourself. You, you've looked at your options, okay? While you're healing yourself, you're looking at your options. And you know which cup you want. You know who you want. And you know, if this isn't exactly a love thing, it could just be a relationship that you want to foster, that you want to grow that you want to see what can happen. 
But you got to get your ass grounded first. You got to get yourself loved together. I think this is spirit saying you got to do the fucking work, okay? You got to do the work if you want this to happen. Yeah, there's plenty of shiny options out there. But what do you really want? Tell me to pull a card on this. Yeah, two twos here. Guys, a lot of numbers. Seven, seven, two twos. You know, you got to make that decision. You got to decide where you got to put your time and energy. You're going to have to let go of one in order to take on another. It's the only way you're going to move forward. Because you're healing a broken heart. You've been in a situation you haven't been happy in. And you're working on healing that. But you're not quite there yet. You know, you need to get out and get yourself grounded. Get your chakras together. Open up all them chakras. You know, usually the heart chakra is what gets us all. You got some blockages. Listen to some uh, YouTube videos on, on chakra clearing. Get, get yourself in alignment. You really got to get yourself healed. And this is healing for you, okay? This is healing that's going to make you a better person. At the end of the day, whether you end up in a partnership or not, this healing is ultimately for your personal growth. Okay, this is clearing out the baggage, figuring out your mistakes, figuring out everything you need to do. Because you want to come out of the cold from some past regrets. Double fives here, man. Expect the fucking unexpected. There's change on the horizon. But you got to release this, this, this past regret, okay? You want to come out of the cold and release this past regret? Maybe you're going to have to sit down and have a conversation with somebody. You're going to have to clear the truth. Jackie! Excuse me, guys. My dog. Yeah, because you're just stuck. You don't know how to come out of the cold because you're still stuck in the past, okay? You're still stuck in the past. It's like water under the bridge, but you're still ruminating over it. Maybe you need to just have that conversation. Put it out there. You know, be vulnerable. Be vulnerable. But you're also not going to necessarily be able to be in charge and control the situation, right? You're working on getting out of a relationship. You are working on that. For whatever reason, it's been difficult. But you definitely want to get out of a relationship. Because there's a relationship that you know just isn't working. And perhaps you want to put this time and effort towards... Yeah, another past regrets here. You know, you want to put some time and effort towards... An offer that you should have made or wish you'd have made. Because you got good. Four of Wands. That's the final outcome card. You want to build a strong foundation. Again, guys, this is the 11-11 card. This is, this is a connection that is very... It's, it's, it's more than just you know, what's at the surface. Jackie! She's like a little kid, guys. I can, she could be upstairs sleeping and I turn on the video and I swear to God, she comes fucking running. Whew. Because, you, you know, you got to end this third party way shit, though. If you want to come towards this queen of pentacles, you know, some people don't share. Some people don't share. They don't think it's cute. They don't want sloppy seconds. You know, that, that appeals to some people, not to everybody. Queen of Pentacles take care of herself. You know what I mean? Queen of Pentacles going to find somebody that uh, uh, isn't community uh, property. She can take care of her own. In that area as well. You know what I mean? She ain't dealing with no sloppy seconds. So you want happiness? You're going to have to get the strength. You're going to have to muster up. You're going to have to get to the point where, you know, you want happiness. You're going to have to put forth some work and effort and get strong. Tame the beast. Tame the beast. But this King of Pentacles, you're going to have to drop that hold. Whatever the hell it is you've been holding on to for dear life. I mean, for dear fucking life, you've been holding on to it. Take the loss. Take the loss, okay? Take the loss. Take the fucking loss. What happens if they take the loss? Yeah, because you stalking, you watching. 
but you're refusing to move away from a situation. You're doing this shit to yourself. You're refusing to communicate. So you've probably been blocked in communication because you haven't moved away. My guess is this Queen of Pentacles you're looking at ain't got shit to do with you. Because they ain't about this third party shit. Okay? This might be for a couple of you. This might be for all of you. Someone ain't tolerating some shit. You know, you want to watch, but you can't talk. Now, you know what? Daddy says on that shit, if you're going to spend the time fucking watching, just have the damn conversation already. You can't because you're dealing with an empress. Mm-hmm. Now, we have the emperor in reverse at the bottom of the deck. You're looking at someone who's, who you think is out of your league, but you're looking at someone that's going to hold you to a higher fucking standard. But in doing so, you can expect a very healthy relationship. This empress ain't going to be needy. This empress ain't going to let your ass be needy. This empress is going to expect the fucking emperor to show up. And reverse the roles, guys. This could be a male energy, right? The empress is just the one that gives birth, that that's the creative, the, the nurturing one, right? You got to get your shit together. If you want to come towards this empress. And spirit is all up in here trying to help you out. Okay, you know what? You don't think you got enough money. You don't think you have enough to offer this empress. Or maybe you're in a situation where you're going to be losing, right? You're going to be paying out some money. You're wanting to get out of a relationship. That showed up. So if it's a, there's a divorce in here, you might have to take a cut. You're going to take a loss. Chalk the fucking L up and go, okay? Take the loss, man. It was up here. Drop the burdens. Take the fucking loss. Quit pretending like everything's okay. If you want this six of cups to go in your favor... Just take the fucking loss. Write the check already. Just write the fucking check. Then you'll get out of your head. And you'll be able to move forward. But no, all this is... Spirit is trying to get you to get your ass balanced. To get your shit together. Your shit together. Okay? Because currently, I don't see union. Okay? There's no union up in this bitch. Because, A, someone needs to decide what the fuck they're going to do. And someone needs to let go of some shit. And someone needs to do some healing. If you're dealing with an empress, the empress is nurturing and loving. But she's going to hold your ass to a higher standard. Okay? She's going to hold your ass to a higher standard. But that's in your betterment at the end of the day. When you're dealing with an empress, you're going to shine. You, th this is someone you're going to show off. This is The emperor and the empress rule the fucking kingdom, okay? Th th this is like a power couple. They're going to have their shit together. They're going to expect you to have your shit together. Then, from that point, you can go off on your journey. Whew! Taurus, y'all know I love you because this is just as much my reading as it is yours. You know, you, you got to let go. And I know it's easier said than done. It's easier said than done. Trust that you're being, you're being guided. You know your intuition's late. You're being basically given the fucking map. You're just not wanting to do the work. You're being lazy and complacent. Because you just want to keep holding on. And if it's money, for fuck's sake, write the damn check already. Just write the fucking check. Peace, love, and light.